Welcome to Bethlehem Institute of Engineering. Bethlehem Institute of Engineering is affiliated to Anna University Chennai and approved by AICT, New Delhi. This institution was established in the year 2008. Today's topic is about uh, hydrographic survey. Uh, what's meant by hydrographic survey? It's the branch of science that deals with the measurements of uh, bodies of water. Okay. Uh, here we are going to measure the land area as well as on the the depth of the hydrograph uh, hydrographical bodies is the branch of applied science which deals with the measurement and description of physical features of ocean, sea, coastal areas, lakes and rivers as well as uh, here we are going to measure the depth as well as an area of the water bodies occupied here uh, of other marine activities including economical development, security, defense, scientific research and uh, environmental uh, protections. What's meant by hydrographic survey? In this survey, we are study, going to study about the hydrographic survey. What's the purpose of studying the hydrographic survey? Means we are going to construct uh, port harbors as well as we are going to measure the depth and also the mean sea level uh, at various places okay uh, okay let us see one by one hydrographic survey deals with the configuration of the bodies and adjacent land areas of ocean lakes rivers harbors and other water bodies form on earth okay we are going to measure the area occupied by the water bodies as well as we need to survey the depth of the water bodies for the pur purpose of constructing hydrographic stru uh, structures uh, especially port etc in this, we are going to measure the tide, tides of tide, current, that means velocity of the waters, as well as gravity, earth, <coughs> and determination of the physical and chemical properties of the waters. Then, here we are listed out the purpose of photography surveys. Okay. Um, use of control and planning of engineering projects like bridge dam channel reservoirs harbors etc okay we are going to construct the structures mainly bridges uh, crossing the rivers dam constructions tunneling projects reservoirs harbor etc and also to determine the mean sea level and observation of tides okay that means uh, in India, the reference is from the Mumbai port. That means mean sea level is been taken over uh, over a period of 19 years. Based on that, we are uh, we are defining the mean sea level at at the Mumbai port. Then, uh, for the measurement of discharge of water, river, okay. Uh, in rainy seasons as well as uh, in flood situations we need to calculate the discharge uh, discharge quantity of waters that means per, per minute how much amount of water 
is been discharged by means of rivers from the dam or else by means of the uh, flood situations uh, belong to the rainfall as well as measurements of area subjected to scoring are silt like that then determination of shore lines that means a uh, shore line means the line meeting the earth surface as well as the sea uh, then to secure information need for the construction of development and improvement of port facilities here we are studying about the construction of port for that we need some uh, data like the current of water as well as the depth from the shoreline here we are seeing few marine structures that means related to the construction based on water bodies some basic terms regarding to the hydrographic surveys first of all sounding a measurement of depth of water here we have uh, seen a man having a lead line to measure the depth of the sea from which uh, the man is standing from a boat then harbor a place where ship or port for cargo and others then reef a submerged ridge of rock near the surface of the waters okay as well as mean sea level average of sea level height according to mean sea level that i already explained what's the what's meant by mean sea level it's the datum which we are going to measure as a reference point in surveying here we are seeing a port structures then we are going to see about horizontal and vertical control first of all vertical control vertical control means depth calculations then horizontal control that means northing and easting calculation that means uh, finding the variation from x as well as y directions then the main objective of hydrographic surveys to determine the depth of water at a certain point there may be undulations in the uh, earth crust as well as in hydrographic st uh, structures or in hydrographic survey there may be change in depth uh, of each point each and every point okay then uh, what's up by <coughs> by which method we are going to measure the depth is sounding that means a vertical control is led and to locate the sounding a horizontal control is needed we are uh, going to see about the vertical controls by which we can we are going to uh, measure the depth of the uh, water bodies maybe lake or river or in ocean okay then <coughs> horizontal control horizontal control is based on triangulation method or a traversing then this triangulation as well as on the traversing are been seen in the second units as well as uh, traversing may be done by chain tape plane table or by theodolite that have been already discussed in the previous sessions let us see about equipment needed for soundings that means how will you find the vertical controls here sounding boards sounding poles lead line sound machines echo sound are been called as pathometers first of all we go we are going to see about uh, sounding board okay for taking sounding should be sufficiently spacious and uh, stable it may be measured in quiet waters a flat flat 
bottom boot is more suitable for a rough water round bottom boot is more suitable uh, in this case we are going to uh, measure the depth by means of a sounding board in in this the bottom of the boat may be flat in the normal uh, surface water as well as it be it's been if in case of rough water surface uh, we need to the boat's bottom must be uh, in a round shape for regular sounding a row boat may be provided with a well through which sounding are been taken. Uh, here we are seeing some few examples of sound boatings. Okay, by means of the sound boatings, we are measuring the depth of the particular river cross sections or else the lakes. Second one, we are going to measure the vertical control by means of sound poles here we are using a pole uh, sh shown in figure the readings must be from 0 to 3 meters in this the equipment is placed by a base plate of by means of lead or steel okay let us see about the sound poles is a pole of sound straight gradient well seasoned rough timber usually 5 to 8 centimeters in diameter and 5 to 8 meters long here in this diagram we are seeing a pole uh, showing up to 3 meters normally we are providing a uh, length about 5 to 8 meters long sounding poles of diameters 5 to 8 centimeters okay it's been clear that the uh, wood made of sound poles must be seasoned so only it's enough to bear or or being used for the purpose of sounding a arrow or lead shoe of sufficient weight is fitted at the end. Here, a detachable bait placed to it, it's made up of lead. Okay, helps in holding them upright in waters. Lead or weight should be sufficient area so it may not sink in mud or sand. Maybe the bottom layer of the water bodies are been covered by mud or silt so that we are providing a base plate made up of lead for uh, sufficient placing of sound poles pole of six meter can be used to depth up to four meters maybe two meters of the pole is for holding the sound poles or else the sound rods okay here are uh, some picture naming are been uh, used by sound pole as well as lead lines the so first of all the man holding a sound uh, sound sounding pole by means he can measure the depth okay next we are going to see about the lead line in this First of all, we can see the diagram. In this, we are providing a lead line having um, a weight of weight is conical in shape and varies from 4 to 12 cages depending upon the depth of water and the strength of waters. Okay. Um, sound lead is a weight attached to the line. Okay. Here we are providing a uh, sounding device of conical portion having a weight of 4 to 12 kgs uh, why we are using means for the immersion of lead line we need to provide a weight of 4 to 12 kgs uh, here 
the diagram shows a lead line survey a man is throwing a lead line from a boat next one sounding machines on the right side we are providing a sounding machine having a lead weight as well as a barrel a recording details of depth a rotating levers okay by means of this uh, setup we can find the depth of depth of a river or else a ocean okay where much of sound is been done a sounding machine is very useful either be hand driven or automatic okay here is an um, uh, hand driven machine okay this is the setup and they are providing in a boat to measure the depth of the river or else ocean okay next we are going to about see about pathometers okay pathometers each sounder is used for measuring depth of large river in excess of 10 meters and those of seas okay pathometers is is been used both in river as well as in ocean okay uh, echo sounding is a technique of using sound pulse to find the depth of water in this a pathometer they are providing a sound signal and receiving the uh, signal based on that by means of uh, the velocity of the signal as well as the receiving velocity the depth of the river or the ocean is been find out okay is an electro a, electrical instrument in which a sound impulse from the surface of the water is sent towards the bottom of the river or sea sound waves are reflect back from the bed in the form of an echo which is arrested by the receiver there is an automatic recorder of the time of onward and backward travel of the sound wave okay taking the velocity of the sound in the water to be approximately 1470 meter per second the depth of water can be computed generally the echo sounder is placed just at the water level to eliminate transmission loss and obtain an accurate result okay uh, here the board shows it's been attached by a echo meters or on or else on the pathometers a sound wave is been sent by the water medium as well as when the sound reaches the base it's been reflected okay the velocity of the sound wave been 1470 meter per second it's been changed based on the salt content of the waters okay the velocity may be changed in uh, normal waters that means uh, when we are using pathometers in river or lakes the velocity is been changed ba based on the calculations or else on the the medium of water okay uh, in this we can uh, clearly see a transmitters then a receivers is uh, it's a principle ocean sounding where depth is too much it's been at attached to record depth of accordance with the velocity of the sound in in the type of water in which it's been used okay based on the type of the water okay pathometers may indicate the depth visually or indicate graphically on a roll which continuously goes on revolving and provide a vertical of the lake or sea okay in this one the, uh, the pathometer results been observed by means of graphical form graphical representation we can find the depth same manner the pathometers having the vehicle uh, that means boat when the boat traveling at some constant 
speed the depth of the surface of the water may be been uh, drawn in a chart that means distance versus distance versus the depth okay the main part of the echo sounding apparatus are transmitter and a receiver then a recording unit as well as on the power unit here we are uh, going to calculate we are going to see about the formula calculating the velocity of the velocity of the signal being transmitted by the fathometers v is equal to 1400 plus 4.21 t minus 0.037 t square plus 1.14 s that means uh, t div t means surface temperature in degrees s is the salinity in the part of sodium chloride per thousands okay uh, the formula for finding the depth that means h is equal to half vt v means the velocity as well as t the time taken uh, for the traveling of the signal from the fathometer to the surface okay uh, when comparing to all these things pathometer is the best as well as on the speedy calculations of the hydrographic survey okay here we have seen some advantages a strong current is running and when the weather is unsuitable for the sound to be taken with a lead line and other methods okay strong current means the vela when the velocity of the uh, water is been increased okay uh, we can find by means of pathometers then accurate as truly vertical sounding is obtained under normal water conditions in port and harbor and accuracy of 7.5 cm may be obtained up to 7.5 cm accuracy we can uh, measure the depth okay uh, sensitive than the lead line uh, the measuring time taken by the lead line as well as on the pole are been very high comparing to the pathometers okay the speed of sounding and uh, plotting is increased in this case the sounding method is speedy as well as on the plot plotting in graphical representation is been increased okay here uh, we have seen about the shore lines that means the separation of water bodies and land mass is called as shore lines okay thank you